Hey guys, so I'm super excited today to do this simple pin-up makeup look. I'm going to use all drugstore makeup today, so it's super affordable, super easy to achieve. I just share with you my little simple tips and tricks to get that like old Hollywood style glam kind of look, which I'm really excited. I haven't done one of these looks on my channel yet, so it's gone good. So to prime my lids today, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. I want something that's going to like conceal all the redness up and I just find this one's amazing to do that. Plus it's super cheap and I also like it to like carve out my brows because we have such fierce wing liner today. I want to have some fierce brows. And I'm just using my Real Techniques buffer brush to buff this out. So next I'm going to go in with this old school bad boy, my Morphe 350 palette and taking that well loved transition shade, I'm going to place that through my crease with a fluffy brush. Now I do want to keep these crease colours fairly like high up in the crease because we are going to create like a soft cut crease look. So I don't really want any of those shadows on the lid area. So just make sure you're blending them upwards towards the brow bone. Not the whole way to the brow bone, but just keeping it in that region. And I'm taking it pretty much toward the inner corner. Not the whole way in, but fairly far over. So I'm keeping the crease um, pretty neutral. So I'm going to go in with a cool tone brown. This is Breakup Contour Powder actually from Makeup Geek. Very, very affordable. I'm going in with a pencil brush and just going to carve out, carve out my crease per se. We're just going to kind of deepen up the crease area. So for those of you who don't actually have a defined crease line or just don't feel like you actually have a crease, just create your own. Just go in and start to carve in a line where you want your crease to be. I mean, for me, I usually do it just slightly above, slightly above that natural crease I have here, just to make my eyes appear a little bit larger. I have a bit more lid space, and I'm just bringing it in toward the inner corner slightly again. And as it begins to be less and less product on the brush, I'm just buffing it up just to blend out that line a little bit. I like to go in just with a little bit of product at a time and just kind of map out the line first instead of going ham and just going crazy and having too much product there and not being able to blend it out. That's when you can start to find some challenges. And then just taking a little bit of that transition brown, just softly blend out any harsh lines so it's all softly blended together. So to create the lid colour, I'm going to grab the shadow from Makeup Geek. It's a matte white. It's in the shade White Lies. And I'm just going to pack that all over the lid and just softly start to carve out my crease area. And to create that nice sharp line, or more crisp line, I'm going in with a precise shader from Zoeva. And the bristles are just way more compact, so it just creates a more defined crease, which is kind of what I'm going for with this look. Like, it isn't a super sharp one because we haven't carved out the crease with concealer, but it's still, still sharp, you know, it's still clean. I'm taking that all the way to the outer corner, so the whole crease. Usually I just do a half cut crease, but today... We're going full glam. So next, once I've applied the white to the lid, I'm going to do the winged liner, which is my absolute favourite bit. Now, I'm going in with my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner. You guys can use a gel if you prefer. I just find this one just has the best, like, um, wand. Like, it's just so easy to just create a nice crisp line. But today, however, I'm going to... Go in with some tape and apply it just along the corner of my eye towards the tail of my brow. Just so I have a really nice like guide so I can get that really crisp line. And 
I'm pretty happy with my wings. This right here is the most satisfying part of the whole makeup look when you can just like peel off the tape and you get like a nice sharp crisp AF line like mm. so I'm going to go in with some mascara and lash it oh <laughs> I'm so sorry I just burped oops so I'm going to go in with some mascara and lashes so the mascara I'm going in today with is my colossal mascara from Maybelline and for lashes today I'm going to take my iconics from house of lashes I ordered another pair recently I'm so happy I just love this style so much and especially for like an old Hollywood glam they're shorter on the inner corner longer in the outer corner so they're gonna complement our little cat eye that we've got going and they're just so pretty so if you guys would like me to do a tutorial on how I apply false lashes let me know in the comment section below otherwise I'm just gonna quickly whip these babies right on and be right back so I applied the lashes and this is how they are looking I absolutely love this style so much it's just so feminine and flattering it's just extra it's like yeah it's just like the glam that you need for like an old style Hollywood kind of look so I have gone ahead and actually like filled in my brows. I will make sure to leave linked uh, down below my updated brow routine as well as in the cards for you guys to check out as well. So I'm next going to go in and prime my skin. We're going to go in with our base now. So I'm actually going to take a pore minimizer. I'm going in with my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I'm going to warm this up between my fingers first and then start pressing it over my pore areas like around my nose and things and on my cheeks just so I have really flawless looking skin because in those old Hollywood style like the simple pin up kind of makeup look their skin is flawless like there is no imperfection showing so it's going to be like a full coverage pretty glam base and I do have a few like crater a little bit of crater scarring on the sides of my cheeks where I had my acne so I'm also just applying that along those areas too just to kind of fill them in like I said just get that flawless base so next for foundation I'm going to go in with two foundations today I'm taking my fit me um, matte and poreless foundation and also taking my Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and the two together just are so full coverage and so beautiful on the skin I just love the combination and I just like to push it into my skin with my beauty sponge. This is from Eco Tools, just to make sure it all melts in. And again, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Medium Beige to highlight under the eyes and center of the face. And you guys know my little trick of concealing under the cheekbones. And I'm just blending it in with my F86 Kabuki brush from Sigma. Then taking a dry beauty sponge, this one again is from Eco Tools, and that yellow like banana-y shade from the NYX Contour and Highlight Kit, I'm going to bake under my eyes and anywhere we basically place that concealer. When I bake, however, I more just press it into the skin. I don't usually have an excess like amount of powder sitting on top. I like to press it all into the pores area and it blurs them out even more so it looks more airbrushed. So now the concealer is all set in place, I'm going to go in and bronze. So we're going to continue using that NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and grab those two warm browns on a Chi Chi Tapered Bronzer Brush and just start warming up the complexion. And I'll just brush a little bit just on the sides of my nose. I will further contour my nose next. I just want to add a bit of colour there, you know. So to contour the cheekbone and nose, I'm going to take my breakup powder again from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to start chiseling out my cheekbones with my Chi Chi bronzer brush. I like the tapered head, it just helps get into the grooves of like just in between like where my cheekbones are and just helps to blend at the same time so there's not a harsh line. And I always, always, always make sure to blend my contour upwards and never bring it down. Otherwise you definitely will lose that structure and it will just look like a hot mess. You won't have that defined cheekbone. And to contour my nose, I go in with my Real Techniques base shadow brush. I just find it perfect to get the shape that I want and it's not, like it doesn't leave a harsh line. It just creates a nice soft shadow. 
I'm going to just go back in with my beauty sponge to soften up that blend. So for blush today, I'm going to go in with my favourite all time, my Makeup Geek Infatuation shade. I just love it so much. It's going to complement this eye look so, so well. It's like a muted kind of rosy tone. So on my bronzer brush from Chi Chi, I'm going to place the blush on the contours of my cheeks and then bring whatever's left onto the apples. It's just such a pigmented blush, which is what I'm going for, especially for that kind of simple kind of pin-up old style Hollywood glam makeup look. Like it just, that's how they used to have it. Blush was just so like rosy tone, like they're just such a rosy cheek kind of, kind of look. And I'm placing on the contours first because I want to kind of keep that structure. So actually for my face highlight today, I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow. This is so beautiful on the skin. It's the Shimmer Shimmer eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to apply this to the high points of the cheekbones. Just to give a bit of a tension, a bit of a bit of glam there. And look, it's just like I've got like a champagne-y glow. I didn't want anything like golden. I want a champagne highlight to the face and it's just so beautiful. And I'm just hitting the top of my nose and keep it bow. So that's the skin done. Let's do the eyes real quick. <laughs> so for my brow bone highlight today, I'm going to go in with the shadow Ice Queen from Makeup Geek and apply that to the very high points of the brow. I mean, I could have gone in with that matte white shade, the white lies that we used in the lid, but I did just want a little bit of, just a little bit of sheen to the brow bone. For my waterline, I'm going to take a nude coal liner. This is from Models Prefer. I'm placing this in my waterline. To bring a bit of that black liner like connected to the bottom lash line, I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Eye Coal in the shade Obsidian and just place that quite tightly against my bottom lash line on the outer third of the eye. Then taking this brown shade from my Morphe palette, I'm just going to buff out that black just slightly. I don't want to buff it down too far, like I'm not really wanting to go for a heavy smoky bottom lash line. So I'm, do, I'm just trying to keep it pretty tight against that black. Now I'm taking about two thirds of the way across, not to my inner corner. On a petite crease brush I'm taking that transition shade that we used at the very beginning in the crease and just buffing out any harsh lines with that brown. And then grabbing some of white lies again and just placing that on my inner corner and taking it slightly underneath that first like teared up like the first third of the inner corner as well on the bottom eye bit. So just kind of just bringing it slightly down onto the bottom tear duct area. And then finally taking some mascara on my bottom lashes. So for lips today I'm going to do that classic like red lip. So to line my lips I'm taking the NYX lip liner in the shade Hot Red. And I'm just going to place that around my lips. I might slightly overdraw them. We'll see. And I'm just filling them in as well. And for the lipstick, I'm going to take my ColourPop Liquid Lip in the shade Succulent and apply that over top. Oh yeah. Das Brat. Das a red lip. So I'm going to quickly do my hair and I'll be right back to wrap up this video. I can feel something in my teeth. I can feel it and I can't see it. So guys, this wraps up today's makeup look, the simple pin-up style makeup. I will link in the cards above and down below in the description bar my hair tutorial for this hairstyle. I have done a tutorial on it, so I will make sure to leave that down below for you guys to check out if you would like. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe down below to my channel as well. I'd love to see you guys join my YouTube fam. Otherwise, guys, have an amazing day, an amazing week, and I'll see you very, very soon. Mwah.